three, two, one. Broadcasting live, it's America's longest-running national radio talk show on computers, Computer America, hosted by national columnist Craig Crossman. Look for Craig's weekly column in your favorite newspaper. This show is being beamed nationwide at ComputerAmerica.com. Keep it here for technology news, computer products, guest interviews, and your phone calls. You're listening to Computer America. Hello, and welcome into the Computer America show. It's the nation's longest-running, nationally syndicated radio talk show on computers. Computer America is heard around the world and coast-to-coast. Coast. And I'm your host, Craig Crossman. And I'm your host, Ben. And uh, hopefully all of you had a wonderful weekend. And uh, we are here at a brand fresh new Monday afternoon. <laughs> and, of course, uh, it is. it only comes once every fourth year. Four once every four years. Leap Day. It's February the 29th. And I um, uh, hope all of you had a wonderful weekend. It's and like a free day. It's yeah, awesome. It we get an extra day in February. Who knew? Uh, an extra day to feed the dogs and mow the lawn and, and, <laughs> and other things. Um, but, you know, um, it is a free day, an extra day. And uh, we have a terrific show planned for you, as always, here in the pre-minute. Now, in the second hour... We're going to be doing computer and technology news. That's brought to you by Slimware Utilities. They are the official optimization software of Computer America. And in the first hour, we're going to be taking a closer look at the technology known as Voice over IP or VoIP. And I have to tell you, um, people having landlines today, it's kind of fading away. Less yeah, and less. It's, kind of, it, it, it's not too uncommon to say, hey, uh, you know, do you have a landline at home? And they're like, at home? No, I have to go all the way to the office to get one of those. <laughs> and even in the office, they might not have it. Uh, we're seeing more and more people just use their cell phones as the standard telephone uh, or voice over IP technology. That's becoming very popular uh, because the cost of voice over IP is little to none. Uh, because you all it you it requires you to already have to have something you already have, and that is your internet connection. It works over your internet connection, and it allows you to, in many cases, with the proper device, make very low cost or even free telephone calls. That's right. And uh, we're going to be talking to one of the uh, 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 players in the voice over IP market. NetTalk is here. And we're going to be talking to Nelson Hudis, who is the uh, public relations uh, representative for NetTalk. Net Nelson's been on the show before a number of times, and we have him back on today's program. If you have a comment or question about anything, especially with today on Voice Over IP, give us a call at 347 884 8881. That's 347 884 8881. We'll get you on and get you through. If you don't want to go on the air, but you still have a question for us, uh, just head over to our website, ComputerAmerica.com. In the upper right-hand corner of any page there of co ComputerAmerica.com, it'll say Submit a Question. Just click it. It's a link. It'll take you to our question submission page. You type in your question, hit the Submit button, and Ben and I will see your question immediately. And we can pose that question uh, on your behalf to our guests. Or if it's a comment or a suggestion, we'll act accordingly on it. The other thing you can do is you can also watch the Computer America show. We are a radio broadcast, but also we provide live video streaming of our show. If you're listening to us live Monday through Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, you can not only listen to us, but you can also watch us. Okay, And the way you do that is you can go to any page at ComputerAmerica.com. It's the uh, menu bar there. It will say Show Lounge. Just click it. And you'll instantly be teleported to our live video streaming page. Uh, you will be automatically joined to the show already in progress. And you can not only listen to the show, but you can watch the show. You can see myself. You can see Ben. You can see our guest today. And uh, not only that, Ben has the really cool technology to be able to display websites, videos, movies, Anything in the background, so you can not only see beautiful people. Oh no, wait, that's just a webcam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not only can you hear uh, what we're talking about, you can also watch and uh, what we're talking about here on the the show. Uh, 
Uh, so now, of course, if you're, you're uh, every, everything we need to do here, or everything you need to know about Computer America is at ComputerAmerica.com, which is the internet home of our radio broadcasts. All right, so Ben, uh, before we get started, anything else you want to talk about or mention to our listeners? Uh, no, no. Hopefully, everyone caught the uh, the Oscars. There's a lot of uh, buzz about the winners this year, and, and congratulations to all of them because you know an, an entire industry patting themselves on the back is something that you need to also you know extend a hand out and say congratulations to. But um, yeah, hopefully, all of you had a good weekend and are enjoying this extra Monday that was given on to us. Mm. And yeah. You know, uh, I think we should jump right into the first hour. Okay, well, let's do it. Uh, uh, now, as I mentioned before, we here at Computer America, uh, we're really big on voice over IP technology or VoIP. I mean, you know, why give your money away to a phone company when you really don't have to do that anymore? Uh, NetTalk is a little add-on device that lets you make free long-distance phone calls, <laughs> literally. Uh, they offer a full-featured phone list, including call forwarding, call waiting, caller ID, visual voicemail. It's fax-friendly, has voicemail to email. It can conference bridge. It has E911 and has connectivity through Wi-Fi now. So basically, it'll even work with or without a computer. That's their, their latest device that they introduced a little while ago. Uh, so you can have it next to your bed or in the middle of a room. It doesn't matter now that it connects via your Wi-Fi network. They have a model that will do that, and we'll talk about that too. And also today we're going to be talking about NetTalk's newest feature, the Connect Messaging and Connect Talk apps uh, that they've just recently introduced. Uh, so back with us is Nelson Hudis. Uh, Nelson is NetTalk's public relations representative. Nelson, welcome into Computer America. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me on the show, Craig, and hello to you too, Ben. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, yeah, uh, now you've been with us for quite some time, and uh, uh, no, I've, uh, uh, there are a number of voice over IP products out there, uh, and ranging in all different types of costs and prices. One of the things that I really like about the NetTalk, first of all, it's really small. If you go to the NetTalk website, uh, you'll see it's a little tiny. Thing. I can show you how small it is. Yeah, you can hold it up if you want to. Right there. There it is. See, okay, a small little thing, and uh, it plugs right into now. And, and there are different models, and we'll talk about the different versions. But basically, the the way it works is that you get a dial tone when you pick up your phone, and 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 you just connect it to um, uh, the different ways of connecting. I'm going to talk pretty much about the NetTalk do a do a Wi-Fi, uh, and the NetTalk do a Wi-Fi basically um, connects to your uh, internet connection. And then you take an ordinary telephone, and you can plug it into the NetTalk, and you just plug the NetTalk into the wall for power, AC power, and when you pick up the phone, you hear a dial tone. It's just that simple. It's an amazing product, and, uh, and it does it so very well. Why don't you tell our listeners a little bit about NetTalk uh, and, uh, and uh, the products, and then we'll get into some of the specifics. But uh, as a PR representative, why don't you tell our, our how long has NetTalk been around, Nelson? Uh, they started in uh, 2008, and uh, they've got uh, three different devices now. Uh, they've got the NetTalk Duo, which was the original device, uh, the Duo 2, and the Duo Wi-Fi, which is basically, as you said, uh, Craig, it's the flagship device because it not only works by plugging into your computer your, or your router, but you can actually load your Wi-Fi settings into it and plug it in anywhere in your house, and you don't need to plug it into your router. So that's kind of unique. That's uh, uh, pretty much very unique, and uh, uh, some of the other competitors don't have that feature. Yeah, I know. Um, or, or they're scrambling to try to get it because it really, to me, I remember when it, when it came out, uh, it kind of blew me away because before you had to be near your computer. You had to be near the, so if your computer was in your office and you wanted to have a telephone by your bed connected, well, that was a little kind of tough to do. Um, but now with the, uh, the NetTalk Duo Wi-Fi, um, the you can literally have it next to your bed. It can be in the middle of the room. It could be, you know, you don't even need a computer. Uh, well, you just... your your router could be in your office, any somewhere else in the house, or uh, you know, in 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 a living room or a basement, and uh, you can plug your dual Wi-Fi, as you said, in, into your uh, in, into your in in your in your bedroom or your living room or your dining room or wherever you like. 
Yeah, so let me ask you this. Why do people continue to have landlines? <laughs> That's a great question. I, I don't understand it. Um, more and more people are moving to this product, um, and they should, and they, they, they shouldn't be paying the monthly fees for landlines. There's no reason to. Uh, you pay one year fee and uh, a renewal fee, and you're done. And you get a uh, calling across North America, uh, USA and Canada, and it's all included. No monthly fees and no long distance fees. So if I uh, let's say if I get a, a NetTalk uh, Duo Wi-Fi and um, I uh, in the box, <clears throat> that comes with uh, what one year's worth of service. Actually, they have changed uh, the way they're selling it in the U.S. Uh, they're cha they they are now selling the Duo cells for three with three months of service at fourteen ninety five, and then there's a renewal. And the wi the Duo Wi-Fi is also selling with three months of service for nineteen ninety nine. The Duo at fourteen ninety five. Uh, the Duo 2 isn't sold in the U.S. anymore, but it is sold in Canada. So okay. they're selling three months and then a renewal for a year. Okay, but it comes with three months. So you so. Uh, uh, you, you, and that's three months to show you how easy it is. And then what's the renewal for a year? What is the cost? The renewal is about uh, $49. Um, yeah, $49 in the U.S. And that's um, for, and that's for uh, a year of, uh, of free phone calls. You know, that's I'm, correct. Uh, it could be local calls. It could be long-distance calls in the United States. Um, I know there are other packages that you can get, but basically... Um, uh, once you once you do that every year, once a year, uh, the the calls are then at that in that period are completely free, um, and typically a landline, you pay you can pay thirty to forty to fifty dollars in the first month, just with with a, and and that's usually without all the features that you get with them because I mentioned some of them, uh, call waiting, call forwarding. Uh, visual voicemail. We'll talk about some of the features that uh, the telephone features that come with these devices. Well, like you said, <clears throat> call waiting, call forwarding, call answer, uh, voicemail to email is is something really great because you can, uh, if a call comes in uh, on your Duo Wi-Fi or your Duo at home and you're not there to get the message, you, it can we we take your email address and it it will instantly send your an email to your smartphone. And that email will have an attachment, uh, and you can listen to the message right on your phone, rather than waiting to get home. So and a, you don't, and you don't have to dial in any special numbers to get your phone, uh, your message. So the audio file of the message is already there. I mean, it looks to me, and, and I know this, for, that, that you can do things with the NetTalk that you can't do with a landline. They offer features that you can't even get. That's totally correct. So uh, the it's, it's far more versatile. Cost a fraction, and once you buy the unit, you have the unit, and then it's just the the yearly update, uh, which is like forty nine bucks, as you say, and for all the phone calls that you uh, that you'd like to make, and uh, there's no charges. There's now, are there any hidden fees or taxes involved with this? No, just a, just when you buy it at retail, whatever the tax rate is, wherever whatever you yeah. buy, and uh, that that's it. There's there's no hidden fees whatsoever. Okay, so. and, and and I guess uh, the other obvious question is, you know, U.S. Canada, we we talk about them, but uh, what would someone need to actually use this? You know, we've already mentioned uh, obviously a router or, or a computer and a solid internet connection. Like, uh, what are the ba you know what are the base requirements for when you say when, when you say a solid internet connection, you obviously need high speed. And that's okay. pretty sta that's pretty standard these days. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I mean, I don't know anybody these days that has dial up anymore. <laughs> For sure. And 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 that's all you need. You need a, just a standard uh, inter uh, internet connection because voice over IP takes very little bandwidth. That's uh, it. Uh, it's it's all plug and play. So yeah, it's very, and, very very easy to set up. And I'm sure that you know some people have have tried it. You, uh, you actually mentioned that you know you guys started back in 2008. In 2008, you know the average internet speed was like, oh, maybe 10 or maybe five to 10 megabits per second. You know if you were lucky, uh, and that was you know considered high speed dial or uh, DSL was still pretty popular. I think with like you know three or five, but um, nowadays you know the average is what 12, 15, 18 megabits per second. I mean, the the better internet that just everyone seems to be getting you know year over year must be really you know. Uh, a boost to uh, to NetTalk because you know stronger you know stronger voice calling. 
right? And I think I misspoke. Actually, the renewal is thirty nine ninety five after the yeah. one year. Sorry about that. Less. I th I thought it was a bit high. Yeah. yeah. So thirty nine. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did make an error on that. Apologize yeah. to your uh, viewers. So it's thirty nine ninety five uh, for the year uh, of 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 making free long distance calls. Tell us a bit about the, the uh, what what uh, what is the network behind the NetTalk service. Can you tell us a little about that? The network? Are you talking about our new services? No, no. The I mean, basically, there's the, the network behind it. I mean, it's, it's NetTalk's own uh, service? Yeah, it's, it's NetTalk's own service and server, servers, et cetera, et cetera, yes. Okay. Uh, so now, if I decide, decide to travel, could I take the NetTalk with me, and would the phone calls follow me around no, where, no matter where I go? Absolutely. You could take it with you in a hotel if you like. Uh, plug it into your laptop, or, or uh, if you don't want to plug it into the laptop, if you if you know the um, the Wi-Fi settings, uh, you could uh, put it in a different part of the room. But mo in most cases, you'd plug it into your laptop, and uh, you'd hook it up and uh, plug a phone into it, and you could just you could dial away uh, on it, and uh, you would receive phone calls. You'd get messages. Yes, it would follow you around exactly like you said, Craig. So in other words. I only need one phone number. I can give that phone number. It's the same phone number, uh, and then I can give it out. And, and no matter where I'm traveling, that phone number is going to follow me around, and my phone will ring uh, just as if I were at home or wherever it is. And and the person on the other won't even realize that, right? They'll just that's that's right. Even if you're overseas, it'll ring overseas. It'll think it's in the United States or Canada. All right, that, that, and we're going to get that in a minute. So uh, they can they can they can ring us. Now, do I need to bring a telephone handset, or can I just use a? What do I use if I'm uh, uh, I'm in a hotel room? Can I? Uh, what do I plug into the? Uh, you could you could bring a portable phone with you if you like. Just bring a little portable phone with me, and yeah. uh, the NetTalk it's small enough, and then everybody could, no matter where I am it falls around, which I think is such yeah, because it's it's so I mean fits in your shirt pocket. Now you met you mentioned here you know you can travel to Canada, uh, Mexico, and uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, will I will this work in those locations, or will something change, or what? No, it'll work anywhere. Anywhere. Really? Yep. That is that. That's right. So basically, anybody can reach you at the phone anytime, anywhere you are. You just have to bring this little tiny device and a portable phone, and uh, you are set to go. And uh, again, it plugs in very simply. Now, when you first plug it in and you set it up, uh, um, uh, you, I know you get a dial tone immediately. Um, but do uh, how do I go pick a phone number? I mean, what's the process there? Uh, how do I get, select a number? So you start it. You 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 buy it at retail. Uh, you open up the package. You uh, go online. You register your account with your uh, username, password. You pick one. You put in your address and all that. And uh, then uh, it'll ask you. It'll take you through the steps. It'll ask you to pick where you'd like your phone number, what state, what city, what uh, what prefix, and then it'll pick the last four numbers for you. And then you've once you've done all of that, it'll assign that phone number to your device. And then once uh, you tell it to go ahead and do that, the number will be assigned to your device. Your device, and then you have a phone number. That is so cool. So I could I could assign myself to a city, my phone to a city that I've never been to. <laughs> I mean, if I for you some could, reason, you could, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. Yeah, no, but let's say if I if I want, I've never been to Duluth, but I want a, a, my phone number to be in Duluth. <laughs> I can. <laughs> and then people say, well, why are you in Duluth? Well, I just just like the phone number because area codes really today are it used to be significant, but now with cell phones and everything, you you, it, it, you don't necessarily have to be where you know where the area code is. Yeah, I could. I mean, I could have a Florida number here in my office or a New York number, and nobody would know the difference. Right, exactly, and uh, so that's some of the really cool things you can do with this. And again, uh, and and it's, once you get it, you get it in the box. You order it, you plug it in, and you just follow the the uh, little instructions on the uh, website, and then and then you hear a dial tone, and that number is now yours. Now you you can it gives you a cho uh, somewhat of a choice. Uh, for phone numbers, but what if I have a, already have a landline number? Let's say I've had another number, let's say for 10 years or 20 years, and it's my number, and I re and I've given it out, and I really don't want to uh, change it. Uh, will NetTalk allow me to port that number over to it? Absolutely, you can go through. You can there's a there's a spot on the website where you can check to see if your number is portable. You can punch in the first three uh, the area code and the first three digits, and it'll tell you whether or not. Uh, 
you can port that number and if you get a congratulations message that you can you can start the paperwork to do so how complex is it is it it's it's I, I know it's fairly simple but what tell us the, the process I mean how long does it actually take for it to, to transfer my number over uh, it can take anywhere from three days to a week or a couple of weeks it just depends how how, how, how backed up I guess they are but uh, it's usually pretty pretty simple uh, once you fill out all that paperwork uh, NetTalk will take care of it for you and then you'll be get, you'll, you'll get an email telling you that the uh, process the port process is complete and that your your number that used to be with your uh, standard telco company is now in your device and working on your device all right and it's just that simple so uh, really nothing to uh, um Nothing to be concerned about, and uh, it uh, it just basically it's 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 a very simple process, and uh, if you if uh, again if you want to um, uh, if you want to port over a number, most numbers I found that let's say are port are portable. You can, I mean you can port them over. Uh, I've very few that I've seen that that uh, that are not able to be ported, and it's a and I understand NetTalk handles most of that for you. I mean they do most of the work. You really don't have to do anything. You just Go in, you fill it out, and submit it. And uh, now, until that's submitted, you have you have a, a temporary number they give you, right? Or the number that they first assign you to. Uh, uh, that's that. That's right. And you can you can I think you can even if you want you can keep that number, but because uh, uh, it is possible to put a couple of different numbers on your device. Uh -huh. uh, and, but uh, yeah, you're you're once it's completed. Uh, the the number that you had will be on your device and working on your device and as long as it's plugged in to your router or through Wi-Fi somebody calling you would never know the difference that is that's very that's is, that is amazing that's very very cool and, and and is there any reason for someone not to do this I mean I can't think of any but there's there... no reason for anybody not to do it I guess the only thing is that anybody who hasn't done it might fear the unknown, something new. Uh, it might not, you know, it might not work. Um, you know, they could, they could, they, 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 that's what they might think. If they've got a friend, maybe that's had it, they could test it out, test it, test out their friends. Uh, you know, or even they could go buy one, mm -hmm. plug it in, try it for a while, use it as a second line, and if they're happy with it, then they could go ahead and port their number if they if they want to. Uh, or if they don't, they can just use it as a second line. Okay, so in other words, you have the you don't have to port your number immediately. You can take your time and and, and use the number that gets assigned to you that you picked, that you pick, and then uh, uh, from that point you say, okay, you know, I really like this. Uh, well, what they could do is they could forward the number to the net talk, but then you're still paying you're still paying you know landline your 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 tel uh, the phone company, and the whole idea here is to wean you off of that. That's right, and that's why the three months is a is a is a good testing time. So it gives some it gives somebody a lot of lot of time to really test it out and get to know it and get to f feel very very comfortable with it. And once they are, then uh, they can um, make the decision to port or not to port. Right, to port or not to port. That's the question. Okay. So well, hopefully right. they'll port. <laughs> <laughs> right, and, and and okay. Well, here are some uh, for me because I have a lot of friends. Uh, you know, uh, all varying degrees of college age. You know, young. You know, blah blah. Um, you know, they all have, they all have cell phones and you know landlines. They haven't had to deal with those since you know the days of the modem and the router and the you know fifty six and the fifty six k and it was awful. Um, but Let's say that you know someone gets by, or you know, or at least they handle everything that they need to from their cell phone. Uh, could you provide maybe a use case that would you know kind of get them interested in saying, oh, well, maybe that would be a good idea to have a you know, a dedicated net talk for? Well, if they only have a certain number of minutes on their cell phone uh, per month or per year, and they don't want to exceed that, this is ideal for them because they could. You know, pick up one, uh, you plug one of our devices in, and uh, not be worried about going over their minutes. So that's the best best way I can describe it, Ben. All right. Yeah, and and uh, and, and I guess uh, there's also some uh, some value in kids going away to college because I know that when I went when I went away to college, uh, my parents were trying to reach me, you know, all hours of the day. They assume that I just fall over dead whenever I'm not in sight. But um, yeah, and would this work uh, in a college setting? Because I know that uh, network congestion on, on some campuses can be a problem, or even hotspots like 
you know, for other people, uh, hotspots in like let's say Starbucks or something. I mean, when a lot of people use one network, you get this huge congestion. Uh, would NetTalk work? Absolutely will work. Some colleges and universities might uh, frown on it simply because of the traffic, but when it's not busy, it, 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 it'll, it'll work like a charm. It, 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 there shouldn't be any problem at all. Yeah, and, and the data usage is, is, is small. Uh, when you, we're, not talking, it's, we're not talking video here, which it takes up a lot more, but audio it takes up very, very little. Uh, it's, 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 it's totally minuscule in comparison. Yes, it is very minuscule. Okay, so that's the basic concept about the NetTalk. So, uh, and again, you really should check out the uh, the website, which is NetTalk N E T T A L K dot com. Or uh, head over to our website at ComputerAmerica.com. Right there on our homepage, we have a link to the NetTalk website. So let's talk about what's new, what's happening. And now you have something called Connect on four uh, Connect on four G. Yeah, that's the newest thing. That's the that's that's really really new, and it's it's really cool. It's uh, one plan, one price, no contract. It includes unlimited talk, text, and data for forty dollars a month. No additional taxes, no additional fees. Uh, in the United States, when traveling to Canada, Mexico, and Puerto Rico, uh, up to the first ten gigabytes of data at four G LTE speeds in Canada, Mexico, and Puerto Rico. And it's, wow. as I said, $40 a month, no hidden fees uh, or taxes. So how does one uh, connect to connect on 4G? What's the process? Well, it's just, it's just, it's just you buy the service and you use the, uh, the, the, the network that uh, we're using, which is T-Mobile in the U.S. and Bell and Rogers and TELUS in Canada. <laughs> Okay, and and uh, that happens. What you you set it up with uh, with with NetTalk, and they just convert the, and they and you're set and ready to go. I mean, how does that? It... that that's it. Really? Yep. Okay. yep, that's easy as easy as pie. Now there are a couple of apps uh, that are involved here. I think there's a messaging app. Let's talk a little bit about. The, let's tell us a little bit more about the Connect messaging app. Okay, well, uh, the Connect messaging app. It's it's a secure messaging app with many 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 cool features. In a nutshell. Uh, the Connect messaging app, it's a private, secure, and fully encrypted instant messaging app with built-in VPN for added security. Hmm. So, how do, now, so how does it work? Well, it's a v, the VPN provides an additional level of privacy and security in addition to the encrypted messaging. It re-encrypts your messages and sends the data through a secure private tunnel with end-to-end -end encryption. It works just like a proxy but even more secure. So you download the app for free on your smartphone. Okay, so why don't you tell us? And, oh, and, and and real quick, uh, is it from uh, is it like a self-contained app, or can it go from you know the app to a phone number? Like, would they need to get the app as well for uh, you know to use it? I'm uh, not sure. Would, I understand. I'm, I'm not sure. sure I understand uh, uh, like, let's see. Uh, would you need to get like a, a the the messaging app on your phone, the app, and then the other person would also have to get the app, or could you like text? Uh, you know, just a basic phone number, and they would get a text. No, you could you could do the. Uh, it, it provides low cost calling around the globe, enabling you to make calls via your mobile phone, via Wi-Fi, LTE, 3G, 3G, 4G connection, without roaming charges. It's available on iOS and Android. Okay, so you mentioned a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about why that's important and why it uses that and how that kind well, of. Well, it, it it provides. Craig, it provides um, basically an additional level of privacy and security in addition to the encrypted messaging. Like I said, it re-encrypts your messages and it sends it through privately uh, and uh, in a private secure tunnel with end-to-end -end encryption. So it works just like a proxy but even more secure. So you really don't have to worry about anything. Your messages are so, so secure. <clears throat> and some people, that's a big issue for. Really? I would think so. Um, all right. Well, I, ha I have a lot more questions here, but uh, I see we're up against the uh, uh, the bottom of the hour break. But um, uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the the Connect messaging app, and also there's a Connect Talk app, and uh, we'll we'll talk about those as well. Again, these are two new uh, apps that are uh, available uh, from NetTalk. Uh, NetTalk again is a uh, a service, a voice over IP service that provides you the hardware and the uh, the way for you to make free long distance phone calls, whether it's across the street or across the block or uh, around the world. And we'll we'll get into more of this. 
uh, as we continue. But as I said, we're at the bottom of the hour break. We have a, a brand spanking new New Sips World Review from Marty Winston coming up. He's going to be talking about the, uh, the Mead Light Bridge. Uh, right. <laughs> that sounds interesting. And then uh, we'll be back. We've got lots more coming up. You're listening to the Computer America Show. Net Talk is our guest this hour. We'll be right back with them right after this. That's but, right. Uh, yeah, but while I look that up, uh, we are back. We In the first hour, we were talking with, uh, with Net Talk, Mr. Nelson Hudis. And yeah, we're talking all about their, their latest product and how they're you know starting to utilize uh, you know 3G, 4G, and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, with these new apps, and uh, I believe we were just about to get into the messaging app, right. uh, which is now part of this because because you know uh, with new technology with fast internet speeds, uh, you guys were able to shake up the market of of you know of uh, traditional landlines, and I guess as uh, as the internet infrastructure kind of uh, broadens, I guess it you know that leaves a room that leaves room for NetTalk to start turning itself into uh, more than just a you know more than just a one telephone service, and I guess that's uh, you know that's what your mess your messaging app is. So uh, how how are people liking it? Oh, they love it. I mean, it's 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 great. They can do lots of different things with it. Uh, with the, the Connect messaging app, they get they can get uh, a worldwide uh, VPN messaging, which is free and private, secure and encrypted app-to-app -app messaging. There's uh, secure push notifications, private conversations, emergency keywords, uh, multimedia, walking and texting. There's just tons and tons and tons of features that everybody just loves. And and again, it's uh, easy to use. And uh, uh, now, how do I? How do I? It's it's just an app that I download. It work, does it work for Android or iOS? What is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get them off the off the app stores. You just go to the go to the web go to the NetTalk website, nettalk.com or nettalk.ca, and you can uh, find all the information you need there on how to get how to do the downloads and put it on your phone. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, and again, what is what is the messaging app? Is there a cost associated to that? And what no, it's we, it's free. Free, wow! Best 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 price in the whole world, right? Yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, so what's a free app? Um, and uh, does that need to be tied in with you know like the serial number maybe from your you know your net talk or your plan or anything like that? It, like is it tied in in any way with you know uh, the the little net talk duo? Uh, it can be tied into your, you can also go mobile with your duo, you can message and talk using your duo phone number while on the go as well. So that's another feature that we didn't talk about. Yeah, so um, you, you, can, you can, I guess, uh, sync it. Very cool. It is cool. Everything we do is cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're, the, so, we're, the, we're the coolest company around. Yeah, exactly. Take that, Apple. Now, and, and it works again on the, uh, uh, the 4G service. As well. Uh, well, it's the, yeah. It's uh, well. That's actually more about uh, our our talk app. The, you might be yeah. mixing them up a little bit, but uh, our Connect Talk app uh, provides low cost calling around the world. You can make calls via your mobile phones, Wi-Fi, LTE, 3G, 4G connection without roaming charges, and that also is available on iOS and Android. And um, you can also earn free and unlimited international talk credits by interacting with our partner offers and watching short videos from our partners. Uh, you can also enjoy unlimited free calling around the world when you call another NetTalk Connect subscriber anywhere in the world. Okay, now wait. Whoa, yep. stop, stop there. Uh, okay. That, because it seems to me that you have adopted uh, one of the basic inherent features of NetTalk, and that was, which kind of blew me away, is the idea if someone, if two people have a NetTalk, and uh, one person takes that NetTalk halfway around the globe, it doesn't matter, and they have an internet connection, and I have my NetTalk, and I call that NetTalk with my NetTalk, there's no charge. It's That's free. right. It's a, it's a duo to duo call. And duo to duo calls are completely free? Absolute, absolutely free. Okay, so the Connect Talk app follows a similar uh, process. If a Connect app to another Connect app, how does it work? Um, yeah, you can enjoy unlimited free calling around the world when you call another NetTalk Connect subscriber. Yes, wow. so it's it's again it's it's really cool. So now, can you manage all these products and services from one place? 
And how, how, or does it, how do you do that? Um, how do you mean? Well, I'm reading is, question is, 11. <laughs> Can you manage is, all that? <laughs> is there like a, uh, a, a, you know, maybe a website you go to with an account and everything inside of it, or, you know, or is the app self-contained? Uh, you can, yeah, you can manage everything from one place. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's real easy. So yeah, you can you can go online and, and do it there. You can manage all of your NetTalk uh, products from the one website. Okay. Yes, you, yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, so if you go if you go on the website and go to the uh, uh, login, there's uh, everything everything is in one place. Okay, <laughs> all right. So um, uh, again, uh, we're talking to Nelson Hudis, uh, NetTalk's public relations representative. And now the two these two new Connect products, these are the two latest versions uh, that you have, and they all work with the uh, with the 4G service, and they allow to do messaging and and talking. Um, the, the messaging app is completely free, and the ability to make message, uh, send message, and receive messages completely free as well, um, if you're using the Connect app. Um, so, uh, anything else you want to tell us before the Connect uh, about the Connect products uh, before we move on to the other? Well, like I said, there's, they've got lots and lots of great features. Everybody can go online and see see it. There's no reason in the world, <clears throat> excuse me, not to download them and use them because uh, the, it'll really make everybody's life a, a whole lot simpler, and that's that's what it's all about. So uh, I encourage all your viewers and your listeners to do that. Okay. So let's talk a little bit more about the uh, NetTalk itself. Now, you've been around for, for uh, some time. Um, um, I assume everything is working well with NetTalk. Um, I know for a while there was a there was a, a, an issue, you know, because you have a Canadian version and a U.S. version. Do, do these do you still have two separate versions, or can? Uh, well, uh, they can buy. They can get Canadian numbers in Canada. You order them off the website. There, there uh, was there was a little issue about a month ago, but it's it's been totally resolved, and there's no okay. problems at all in Canada now. Okay, excellent. So then it all works as it's supposed to be. So uh, and again, the there are uh, three different NetTalk. Products and they are the the NetTalk, the NetTalk Duo, and the NetTalk Duo Wi-Fi. Is that correct? The Duo, the Duo Two, and the Duo Wi-Fi. And the flagship product uh, is the Wi-Fi because of its versatility and being able to connect, uh, plug into your computer, your router, or uh, not plugging into anything and just uh, putting your Wi-Fi settings in, uh, into the device mm -hmm. and plugging it anywhere in your house. And that, and you know, although that came later on, it was one of the last ones that still has become your flagship product because I've always recommended to people if you're going to get one of these, you might as well get the Wi-Fi version because it truly severs like the last uh, wired connection. It keep it, give, it liberates you from your computer. You don't have to be anywhere near your computer. Uh, your phone doesn't have to be anywhere near your computer. All you need uh, basically is an AC, you know, your phone and a place to. Plug the NetTalk Dual Wi-Fi into the wall for power. Yeah, and it's and setup's really easy. It's all plug and play. Uh, also, there's lots of different setups you could do. You could go out and buy a cordless cordless uh, 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 base station with three, three or four or five expandable handsets, and you could plug that into it. You could put handsets all around the house and be able to access the line from anywhere in your house. Uh, so it's 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 really unique. It's versatile. It's it's uh, user friendly. There's no reason in the world, like we said before, to pay monthly uh, landline fees, uh, and uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful product. Excellent. So, talk to me a little bit about: uh, 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 Are there any, um, oh, uh, any uh, calling plans? I mean, you know, uh, with NetTalk that you, that are available. At there time? are calling plans. Uh, oh, we, have, we have we uh, have. North American add-on. Um, we have a, the basic, as everybody knows. There's the uh, international for uh, $130 a year. Uh, there's a North American add-on, which gets you a bunch of different, more countries, and uh, the, 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 they keep the costs really, really down. And if you want to uh, call other countries as well, there's a list on the website of other other countries that you can call and what the low uh, fees are uh, uh, how much they are, you know, uh, f to call the various various countries uh, mm -hmm. per minute, and uh, you can access that and figure out. Uh, you can you can do an add-on to that. You can add international minutes onto your phone 
uh, line on your NetTalk Duo or Duo Wi-Fi so that if you want to call some of those other countries, you just uh, once you've added that, you just pick, pick up the phone and dial it, and the amount in terms of cents or dollars or however much every you use will be deducted from your, your international uh, calling plan. Cool. Now, Ben, I understand we have a question uh, from uh, one of our callers that, that submitted a question. And well, uh, actually, not a caller. Uh, through our submit a you know comment question whatever yeah. form we have up on the site, and uh, yeah, and, and Mr. Rover, right. uh, long time listener, long time listener. Yeah. Um, yeah. He asked. Yeah. A, he asked the question. He says, "I." Well, yeah. it's more of a comment, but okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, he says, "I had the first edition of the Neck Talk Duel at the time." Uh, another product, uh, and he says he's enjoyed the service for uh, for the year and has had no issues with it. So unsolicited uh, testimonial. Just wonderful. So much Erpenen, yeah, just so much Erpenen said that they liked it. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Glad to hear it. There it is. Yeah. Thanks, Rover. Thank you, Rover, for that uh, for that uh, uh, information. Uh, so tell us now. So we talked about the calling plans. You also have some. Uh, uh, will this work, let's say, over a hot a hotspot? You mentioned a college campus or a cafe internet connection. Well, at yeah, all. Uh, yeah, I think we already covered that one, though. Right. Yeah. yeah it does. It does. You can. Uh, you can. You can. You can use it on that as well. And you can store. Actually, you can store a bunch of different. Uh, I think. Uh, I think it takes up to ten different Wi-Fi settings. So uh, you could store into the what do a Wi-Fi device. All right, so if I go to a new place, it's uh, it it will it will display the Wi-Fi uh, that are available in the area. You select one, hopefully one that's not locked, or you know, uh, if it's a, if it's a free hotspot, and uh, and you can right, and it, and if it is locked, you, all you need to do is just you know get the get the uh, get the password information and store it in. Right, exactly, and, and then, there's there, there's instructions on the website that can tell you how to do that. Exactly. All right. So uh, any any um. Anything else that you want to tell us about the uh, the duo? I think we uh, the uh, the net talk we've covered most everything here. I know uh, again that uh, uh, it is inexpensive. Uh, the, it's thirty nine ninety five for years worth of service. Most all of them come with three months worth of service uh, that you can get. So you can get yourself uh, set up. Uh, you can port your number over if you want to. Uh, so you have an existing phone number, and you want to keep that. You can port the number over. You can keep the other number, so you can have have a second backup number. I mean, the really, the really. Talk to me a little bit about nine one one. Okay, nine Yep, nine one one. If if, uh, if I if I'm let's say I'm not at home and I travel to another state or another place and I, and I have an emergency, like uh, how does that work and with that talk? Okay, so when you're setting up your account, uh, it'll ask you to put in your address when you're first setting it up, and it'll also ask you for an E911 address. So that address will get saved into your account, and if you ever have to use uh, 911 for an emergency, you pick up the phone and dial 911 and tell them you're, you've got an emergency and whatever it is, and they the E9 the It'll know that it's coming from a VoIP device, and it'll go by the E911 address that you gave NetTalk when you originally set up your account. If you go somewhere else and take your device with you and and call 911 on that device, let's say you're on holidays, it'll still go by the address that you entered into the into your account. So if you're moving around, you would def you'd probably have to change the E911 address, which is not your account address, but your E911 address, which is different. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do that. You'd probably want to, if you're in a hotel, you'd probably want to pick up the hotel phone and dial 911. But you know, you could theoretically go into your account every time you moved around and changed it. But it wouldn't. Uh, it's probably not something you want to do. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, because. But it does keep track of where you, in other words, where you are, if in case you're in a pro, uh, in in trouble, if you need that. Well, like I said, if you're somewhere else, if you go on vacation, let's say you know you're in New York and you go on vacation to Toronto, or you go on vacation to Miami, and you take the device with you and you call 911 on that device, the 911 operator will know that you're. It, Will not know you're in Miami. Will it uh, will send you an ambulance in New York because that <laughs> that that address you entered when you set up your account was based in New York. And and and, and that's an important thing for you to to, to keep track of uh, or to make sure. So you can change your location if you decide to, but it's probably not a good idea to keep changing the address. 
I would think. No, but the, on the on the other hand, if you're a snowbird um, and you're not, you know, you and you want to use that as your main line and take it with you and when you're moving around, uh, it's it's real simple. You would just go into your account and change the address for four or five months when you're escaping the winter and. Uh, put the Miami address into your account so that when you do pick up the phone, if you need 911, they will send send you su somebody an ambulance to your 911 address, which is now in Miami. Excellent. All right. So, is there is there anything else you would like to tell us our listeners about in that talk today? Uh, we covered well, the only the, the, other, the other thing that I can tell you about it is that um, what's what's interesting about uh, the the emergency 911 stuff uh, for Canadians is that other providers uh, don't offer E91 E911 in, in Canada. So if you're buying a de one of the competitors' devices, uh, you can't get E911 in Canada. Whereas if you have one of our devices, you can get true E911 in Canada. So for any Canadians considering a VoIP device, that's something very important. If they are replacing their typical landline, that they might want to consider because you never know when you might have to dial 911. So let me ask you this. You, obviously, the uh, public relations for NetTalk, I know you use a NetTalk and uh, have used it for quite some time. Uh, how, how do you like it as yourself personally? It has saved me so much money you would not believe. It's, it's, and it's been plugged into my router for years, and people tell me they can't even notice the difference in uh, qu call quality. They would never even know that I'm on a VoIP device. In, in some cases, it actually sounds better. Uh, in some cases, yeah, it sounds better. Yeah. Uh, and it, again, I'm not getting those monthly fees. All the features that a normal telco company would be charging me on a monthly basis have totally disappeared. I haven't had those charges in years. And uh, it's just wonderful to be able to save all that money. I know that I've saved thousands over the years, thousands, of, not hundreds. Yeah, Craig was one of those weird people with like more than one landline. Like he had a couple landlines and a couple other, you know, very niche lines. But yeah, ever since Voice over IP, Craig's been a happy, happier camper. Yeah, you know, it, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about it for a second. You're gonna, if you're gonna have a phone line and 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 you're gonna pay a telco company every year and on monthly charges, start adding up what it might cost you to keep that for five years. And then think about how much you could save in five years if you were on voice over internet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it pay. Not only does it pay for itself, uh, you get it back uh, uh, many, many times over. And totally. for, those, yeah, for those of you listening out there who still have a landline, uh, you really need to consider uh, a voice over IP, uh, you, especially with the in this day and age with broadband being. Uh, Virtually everywhere today, uh, you, yeah, you, as Ben said, no one really has dial-up much anymore, and uh, it really does truly save you enormous amounts of money. And uh, again, you can get something like this uh, for a, a very inexpensive price, uh, and the subscription is like thirty-nine dollars a year. Uh, After the initial three months in the USA, in the USA they sell them at three month levels, and in Canada they're still sold um, uh, for a year, uh, and they are available online at nettalk.com or nettalk.ca. And talk to us about the price of each of the three net the the nettalk models. Okay, so uh, I'm just getting my my notes here. In uh, the US, it's um, I believe I said it was 19. <clears throat> Excuse me, Craig. Um, yeah, the Duo <coughs> uh, sells in the U.S. with three months of service for fourteen ninety five. The Duo Wi-Fi in the U.S. sells for nineteen ninety nine with three, both with three months of service. The Duo Two is not sold in the United States anymore. In Canada, the Duo sells for fifty nine ninety five. The Duo Two is sold in Canada for forty four ninety five. And the Duo Wi-Fi is sold for seventy-four ninety-five. The Canadian versions all include a year, whereas the U.S. ones include three months. Okay, so let me get so so the Duo Wi-Fi is you meant is nineteen. Why, why am I saying nineteen ninety-five on the, it's nineteen ninety-nine? So nineteen ninety-nine with three months of service. That's amazing. I mean that that's like nothing. Nineteen ninety-five, nineteen ninety-five for and with three months of service. The Duo Wi-Fi. It, it, it doesn't even make sense to get. 
the, the, the Duo. I mean, get the Duo Wi-Fi because you just have that additional flexibility. It, yeah, it's... and and as you were saying earlier, it, it's you know for somebody who might be on the fence, you know, about uh, trying it. This is a great tr great trial for three months only. They're not locked into a year, and then if they like it at the three month level, and they oh yeah, you know what, I'm saving a ton of money, and I think I want to keep my number because I've had it for 20 or 25 years. That three three month uh, time period is a great test. Then they can decide that they want to port their number, and then they can go ahead and do that. And so, um, it's you know, and it's really easy to do. So I know you don't like to talk about the future. No company seems to want to do that, but what do you see NetTalk in the next couple of years? I mean, what what do you think is next for NetTalk? Oh, you... I can't I can't reveal all our secrets. <laughs> you'll just have to you'll just have to stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, you can go to the website at nettalk.com uh, or, or www.nettalk.com, n-e-t-t-a-l-k.com, or www.nettalk.ca if you're in Canada, and you can check out both the websites. You know. Order one. Uh, it's certainly <laughs> extremely cost savings. Uh, get rid of your landline. You don't need it anymore. There's really no reason to have a landline anymore. Uh, right. And one one thing I will tell you is um, uh, you, the devices used to be available at various uh, big box retail stores, and uh, we've we've since gotten out of the retail game and there are they are available online on, at the websites it just makes it a lot easier for uh, for our customers to just buy it online get it online you get the latest prices you get the latest yeah market. online shopping uh, you know has just become so convenient nowadays it's com I, I, I can completely see why, why you've done that makes a lot of sense it does well Nelson I want to thank you for being with us here on today's show it was a lot of fun and uh, and uh, again, uh, you know, stay in touch. Keep keep us informed. As when NetTalk does come up with new products, we certainly like to talk about them. And um, and uh, thank you for being here on today's well, Computer America show. Well, thank you again for to you both for having us on. Uh, we really enjoyed our time here. <laughs> okay, listen, you take care, and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon. All right. Definitely. Thank, thanks, Greg. Thanks. All right, Have Greg. a good one. All right. Yeah, you bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. And there he goes again, Nelson Hudis, uh, NetTalk Public Relations representative uh, uh, for the NetTalk product. And again, uh, uh, I haven't had a landline now in years, and, and there's no reason why you should have one as well. Save yourself hundreds, even thousands of dollars uh, over time. It will, this thing will pay for itself, especially with that reduced price, nineteen ninety five, for a NetTalk uh, Duo Wi-Fi model. With three months worth of uh, of uh, service, and then thirty nine bucks for a year, free, no ta no hidden taxes, nothing, and you get free unlimited uh, long distance calls. I can't think of a reason not for you to not do it. 